You can say like every week a person is dying. The old man is knocked down. So much people have died. There were a couple of uh, kids that died there. People you find them being knocked by the cars here. We have always heard over the past weekend, Saturdays, Fridays, people are dying. That's a national road. If you have an accident there, the whole route is blocked. They built the bridge to save the life for the community. We could walk from here to Gateway without even paying our bus fare, so we're glad. Since the bridge has been finished, there is no uh, uh, accident. Many people were dying before the bridge was built. So now that the bridge is built, no one dies. No one dies. No one dies. For the members of the Blackburn community, making their way to work every day meant crossing the busy N2, where it runs between their village and the growing commercial centre of Umhlanga Ridge. The loss of life has been unacceptable and with the planning for the new King Shaga International Airport underway, the South African National Roads Agency Limited, through its community development program, reacted to this unacceptable situation by planning a unique new pedestrian bridge and walkway to provide a safe access across the N2. The Blackburn Pedestrian Bridge is now an icon on a visitor's route to Durban. The natural site for the bridge coincided with the most challenging location along the whole route, since at that position the two carriageways are separated by an 80 meter wide natural valley, which was both a physical barrier and an environmentally sensitive area. The engineers at SSI Engineers and Environmental Consultants proposed several options, and Sunwell decided that a cable stayed structure was the most appropriate solution. JT Ross Debris Construction Joint Venture were the successful tenderers, but the community of Blackburn were involved every step of the way. From the early consultations about the project to the 60 members of the community who are employed in the construction process, it has met Sandra's requirements for a community project. The meaning to the community of the bridge was symbolized by the placing of handprints of the children on panels which were erected next to the abutment. During the development of the safety lighting, new LED technology became available which allowed Sandwell to celebrate the importance of this iconic structure and the artistic lighting is now a welcome feature on the traveler's approach to Durban. Music